What is going on guys, Jay Rico here. Hope you guys are having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video, this is gonna be do not let these women get you emotional. Guys, this is one of the main hardest things that you could actually definitely do. And the reason why I decided to make this video guys was just for the simple fact guys is that I've been getting flaked on literally left and right. My previous video as you guys could see as far as women and dating apps or so and the dating app or the, or the dating game or whatever dating apps or so with the dating game I guess you could say guys that's long and gone I've already deleted all of that the only social media that I do have is Instagram Facebook for family and that is it that is it all the other girls that I'm going to be posting on Instagram from here on now guys is going to be girls that I have literally have met in person have talked to them in person is and that easy as that guys but these last couple girls that I've been talking to guys more than likely they have literally flaked on me several times I'm not talking about this one specific girl but I'm actually talking about several actual girls itself here that guys that honestly it has gotten me to the point where I'm at this particular level I'm like I'm calm right here if you guys were to meet me in person I'm a calm relaxed type of dude I do what I gotta do and easy as that but once I'm actually in this particular level guys I'm, I'm done and I'm, 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 I'm over with it that's the reason why I'd say guys is that don't let these women get you emotional right when that moment when I actually had a date scheduled for drinks or so and I already knew what was gonna happen like I already knew what was gonna happen she was gonna hit me up at last minute telling me hey I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to make it but one of the worst mistakes that she actually one of the worst excuses that she actually made was guys is that her saying oh my god I fell asleep I'm so sorry like get out of here you are active on Instagram all day long we met through a dating app and then of course we transitioned over to Instagram that way of course I always like to transition from dating apps to Instagram just so they could actually see my life what I'm about on a day-to-day -day basis and of course every now and then I do like to post interesting stuff every now and then I do like to post I guess stuff that that I like you know that I really don't care if anybody else likes or not you know th this is for me the Instagram is of course for my personal use this is what I what I'm into and what I actually do like itself here so but when that moment came when Friday came guys I was ready I was like you know what hey I'm ready let's go crickets there is nothing at all here and her excuse was that she fell asleep while she was active on Instagram that she felt super bad you know you know what guys I'm gonna give you guys a little message. I'm gonna give you guys a little, little sneak peek of the actual message itself here. Where is this at? Where is this at? Let me see. I'm getting ready right now. Her response two hours later, talking about three hours later, I just woke up. This was, we were supposed to hang out like right around nine o'clock or, or 10 o'clock or so. And she literally messaged me like literally right around 11, 1130 or 12 or so. Talking about, I just woke up. And the next message talking about, oh my God, I feel so bad. Guys, more than likely this woman was with another guy that she was messing around with. Easy as that. I already, already, already know stuff like this. I already know this stuff. This has happened to me previously before, but it's okay. I don't give a fuck. I do not give a fuck. I seriously do not care at all, guys. And then what, what was what was my actual, I guess the, the main thing that I was thinking about that during that period of time, I was thinking about how I literally wanted to go off on her. I literally wanted to be like, you know what? <laughs> you wanted to actually end up wasting my time. I actually wanted to unfollow her and write her a message back talking about this is where you get for your wasting my time. But no guys, right at that particular moment, what you actually got to do as a man you literally get just got to think about this whole situation just got to forget about it and be like you know what i'm going to move on to a bigger and better person i'm going to move on to something that's going to be way more better here so and guys this woman is 28 years old or 29 years old divorced with two kids guys i just wanted to hang out and just have a good time if you know what i'm saying i just wanted to hang out and have a good time and, and easy is that here for you guys but women like this guys 
that have kids that are single divorced they are going to be the ones that are going to flake the most itself here and that's the reason why i would say guys is that guys you guys got to hold your frame regardless of whatever situation you are coming across as in if it's with women that's flaking on you if it's your job or if it's literally just either life in general guys you got to take it all in you got to take it all in and then you got to let it all out and then the thing that actually helps out for me is for the simple fact is that when I go to the gym, it makes me relieve all my stress. I'd be hitting the weights. It definitely makes me release all the stress. And then also on top of that, I definitely do. I like to breathe in and then breathe out. You know, just take deep breaths, breathe in, breathe out, just relax. And then just start doing stuff. Once I start doing more stuff, guys, it actually is gonna get me off of that actual negativity, negative mentality or so, and then just start thinking more positive or so. Because guys, once you get emotional and then once a woman starts to see, to see that, she starts to see that you're weak deep down inside. She's going to see that you're weak minded deep down inside. And then once she actually wants to hang out with you again, or once you literally try to hit her up to hang out again, she's going to be like, oh no, uh, yeah, you know, I kind of flaked this one time where I literally couldn't even go this one time and literally you just started like literally going off on me. I wonder, I wonder what would happen when you like literally just get angry out of nowhere, you know, how you're going to react or so. That's the reason why why I do say, guys, is that you guys gotta have that, you guys gotta have that alpha mentality where you guys do not give a fuck regardless if she actually does flake on you or not. I already knew it was gonna come. I already knew it was gonna happen. I just thought it was so freaking hilarious. I like, wow. I already knew it was gonna happen, and her, and her excuse was that, oh, I fell asleep. Oh, uh, I feel so bad. First of all, you're probably with another guy. Second of all, you don't you don't feel bad for me. You don't even know me. But it's okay. It's okay. Guess what? I'm gonna leave you on red and I'm gonna move on to the to another chick that's way cuter than you. And then once that time comes, I'm gonna post on Instagram and you're gonna be texting me back talking about, hey, uh, we never got to hang out, let's hang out, you know? You're actually pretty cute, you're actually pretty handsome or so. Guys, there has been several women that have texted me five, 10, 15, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes later, a day later, once I post me and a chick on Instagram or Snapchat or so, they're like, oh, oh, so this guy actually has game. For the for the people that are for the woman that I actually never met in person, like oh this guy this guy actually has game or this guy's actually pretty good looking or so, like hey hey how are you this and that, guys these women they just want attention that's it they just want they they're just seeking for that attention what which guy's gonna give them the, them the most attention and then whatever guy gives them the most attention and then once they're actually tired of that guy, guess what they're gonna do, they're like okay, I'm 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 already bored of you you know I'm gonna move on to the next guy easy as that. Easy as that, guys. And that's the reason why I would say is that, guys, don't be emotional when it comes towards these women, guys. Stay strong. You guys got this. You guys literally got this in the bag itself here. That's why us men are men and then women are women. Women are supposed to be the emotional ones, not us, guys. Once you actually do have that mentality, guys, guys, start doing something. Start being more active. Go outside. Literally, literally take a walk or take a walk with your dog or so. Literally, just start relaxing yourself. Don't take things too serious from what these women tell you, first of all. Because half of these women don't even know what they want in reality. They may say, oh, I want this kind of time. I want this kind of diet. I want this kind of guy. I want a guy to take me out. I want a guy to literally. But once they get that, what's going to happen? They're going to leave that guy sooner or later and literally they're going to go for the guy that they don't even, that, that, the guy that doesn't even care about her. I've seen that before so many times, guys. That's the reason why I would say is that, first of all, don't even give a fuck about what these women tell you. Don't give a fuck about what these women tell you because at the end of the day, as long as you're happy by yourself, guys, and that's all that really matters, and that's all there is to it, guys. So I hope you guys did like this in my video as of today. If you guys did, I would appreciate if you guys did hit the like down below. And of course, guys, if you guys have any questions, any comments in the comment section down below. And guys, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm definitely going to be posting more content on this here for you. And make sure to subscribe to my actual or actually share my videos for other people to actually see. And guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is gonna be J underscore Rico 92. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.